arrested. Right. Yeah, uh, so-called I, I, white man that's over in uh, Israel right now, who claim to be the tribe of Judah. <laughs> now look, imagine that. Just look at them. The name itself don't well, matter. First of all, yeah, you know, the symbol for Judah is a lion. Right, yeah, a lion. And they ain't, no, they ain't no lions. Praise God. Okay. You can just tell from the. All right, all right. bro. Praise God. All right. And one thing Hallelujah. you can tell too about us <laughs> coming over here in slave ships. What about uh, they're not lions? Uh, well, I got I got a good point for you. Now the Bible tell you King David played the harp, and nobody could play better than King David. All right. Now what's the modern day equivalent to the harp? It's a guitar, right? Uh, Who's the best guitar player of all time? Who's the best guitar? Bro, Jimmy Hendrix. Jimmy Hendrix. Two Israelites. They both Israelites. That's a trait of an Israelite. Is that musical ability, that spirit, that swagger, that style. That, that goes. Now all goes back to the children of Israel. Because a heathen can't make no beautiful music like that. Because they don't have a beautiful spirit. You gotta have what to. Have Ray ting, ting, He's an Israelite. Ting, ting, ting. Ray the band. Ting, 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 ting. You listen to that Chinese shit. Ting, 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 ting. What about Eric Clapton? Oh, I don't know. Well, Israelite, Israelite, Eric Clapton. That's Steve my Ray goal, Bong, Eric Clapton. Steve Ray Vaughn go way harder than Eric Clapton. Well, yeah, yeah, but Eric Clapton is good too. He's all right though. Yeah, I like that. Have you ever seen the Chinese Michael Jordan? Yeah, you ever seen it. <laughs> or African Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah. not yet. African, African. You ever seen an African Tupac? Because <laughs> you know Africans ain't, ain't the same people as America. Uh, black people in America, they're, they're, they're different people. Because black people in America could go back to Israel. That's why uh, y'all got more style and swag. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm that's prophesied. That's, pro that's, that's, that's the characteristics of the Lord's people. So let me get this straight. The judgment between whether Judah, look, that lets you know that Judah is the American Negro is not based on any bloodline or anything like that. It has to do with like, uh... Well, no, it is, but it, it is. Because look, nobody has documents and proof to trace everything going all the way back. Okay, right. we ain't got records. Our records have been destroyed. People have been put into slavery. Like, slaves don't have records, you know what I'm saying? I got the definition. So the Bible, hold up. The Bible say that we know who our brothers are and who do the spirit. The spirit will reveal you who the Lord's people are. I believe ham means sunbaked. Yeah, it means uh, yeah, it means hot. Yep. Yeah. Like ham. That's where you get Kemet. That's the, the African biblical name, ham. I got, I got the definition right here. Uh, this is the definition yeah, of it's, ham. Yeah, because it's just, just the Egyptian. Younger son of Jephthah, sunbaked or hot. Yep. But, oh yeah, because uh, the Egyptians were Hamites. They weren't Israelites. The Lord was not. When you read the Bible. The Bible tell you, we just read it, it said that the, the Egyptians are evil. You know what I'm saying? The Lord ain't dealing with the Egyptians. Uh, uh, no, read that. This, this is, is out the, of a, the, uh, the Bible Dictionary, the yep. Compact Bible Dictionary. And I know that Ethiopia is supposed to come from Ham also. Yeah. That's right, that's right. But we uh, still got Israelites scattered over there though. Like some, of, some of our yeah. people were scattered with the Hebrews. So how do you explain that Moses was married to an Ethiopian? That was just one of his wives. That's just one of his wives. He was married to the Egyptian Hagar. Moses? No, he was married to no, the Egyptian Hagar. No, I'm thinking of Abraham. Right, right. That's what I'm thinking of, too. Yeah, Abraham. Yeah, and even when he was married to this Egyptian, the other Israelites spoke against them. But then God afflicted them for speaking against Moses for being married to this particular... Yeah, that's none of their business. Right. What he does with his woman, you know what I mean? That's right. Yeah, it's just a piece of ass. What a man so, does with his women is no one's business. Like, when someone called the cops when you make one smack your woman and that and your woman called the cops i mean it's actually the cops is committing a sin coming in your yes, that is a sin that's your family that's your property but there are scriptures where someone did speak against the wives of the israelites there's actually a scripture i believe it's in ezra where it talks about how the israelites had they took wives, wives for the other nation they got punished for it but then this guy spoke against them and god was actually on his side and made him turn away those wives and their children and forsake them Right. Yeah, because the law actually says you're not supposed to have sex with a woman from another nation, all right? But, but then, then again, but hold up, well, hold up. Uh, but at the same time, everybody's been mixed together by now, right? And so now you got our people are scattered among all nations. You can't, because a, a, a Israel, an Israelite will look like a heathen. They'll look like someone from another nation. They'll be speaking a different language. Because up through, throughout the years, Israel got scattered from us fucking other nations. Against uh, putting captivity and right. getting sold That's across right. the other side of the planet. And you know, you know Israelites, we love women. We love yeah. some women. You know what I'm saying? 
I ruled in Europe for a thousand years. Like I said, uh, we were uh, yep, we were for a thousand years. A thousand years. Where did the Irish come from? Oh, yep. You know, you ever hear the Moors? Well, yeah, I know uh, the Moors. You know, what does Moor mean? Uh, that's, a, that's a black person. Yeah, it means brown, all right? So, but you got a lot of white people today with the last name of Moor. Because uh, they go back to the Moors. Uh, and over the years, they lost their pigment. You know what I'm saying? So and then, been a, there's been a lot of inbreeding. Yeah, so it's, hard, it's hardly any way to tell. Well, you know, you yeah. ever heard of saying, the saying the eyes is the window to the soul? Yeah. That's how you know who's an Israelite. By the, the eyes. So just look at the eyes, right. man. How's that? How does he tell? How can you tell? I got it right here. The spirit, the spirit, just look in someone's eyes, man. Yeah. Just look. I, I, I it's like a, it's actually a gift that the Lord gives you to be able to just, you know, the most spirit. about to read that? Uh, All right. Yeah, and give me that in my, that's, I keep forgetting my Romans got messed up. Okay, that's my other Bible. I gotta get a new Bible, man. Give me Romans 8 and 14. Because the, the scriptures always talk about the Holy Spirit. So you gotta, everything we do is to, we don't we don't operate on the, according to the flesh. Just by how you look. Okay, yeah. We, In this case, we're gonna be like going it down, right? Yeah, we be fighting it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we be battling. We be having a race battle out here. Eight and twelve. Yeah, no, eight and fourteen. Romans eight and fourteen. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So we led by the Spirit. That's who the sons of God are. Like the word Israel means Prince of God. And a prince is the son of the son. We the sons of the Most High. So you saying so you should be able to tell who the sons of God are by if they're led by the Spirit. But it doesn't say anything about if they're led by the eyes. Or well, well that, you know, that's because when you, that's the Spirit, though. When you, when you, the look on someone's face, the countenance. You can judge somebody. It talks about looking in the eyes. It doesn't say the eyes. It does say the Lord said the it eyes are the one that's right. That's, right. that's, that's, right. that's a magic. It's got to be a magic somewhere. It's been a minute since I read that. That is a Ain't that a magic? Yeah, man, let's just go back to a person's countenance. Like, when you look on a heathen's face, you'll see a blank, dead look in their eyes. It look like uh, like a zombie. Like, they don't know what's going on. They got no flavor. Like a, they got no flavor. No right. Flavor. They, they got no style. They you. Yeah, you know, they bugged, bugged out. out. Diamond that little bugged out ass. Yeah, because you no know your flavor. Plus, you know your eyes. So you're saying the spirit of God is based on flavor. You are a peculiar people. Well, the, the most yeah, high. we're a peculiar. The, we do got flavor because that's yeah. in the scripture. Why do you think? So what it says is that that's whoever that's is the child of God and lives, lives according to the spirit of God, that has to do with flavor. Yes. Is with that? Yeah. How shall I prove it? Think, here, I get it right here. I'm gonna prove this flavor. A perfect example. Us as a nation is at the bottom of the barrel. Well, if you would, if you have time, just turn back to that spirit where it says as many as are the children of God. Yeah, I got you. And I think probably yeah. around there it tells you what what they do when they're led by the Spirit. And that scripture that you just read, like part of that scripture that you just read, not anywhere in the front of the Bible or back of the Bible, but right there in that chapter. I'm gonna prove to you that we we do we know who we are because we got flavor. Okay, I'm gonna prove to you. This is uh, Matthew 5 and 13. Matthew 5 and 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. Now, what do you use salt for? That's flavor. flavor. So he said that we the flavor. No, they had it right. Check this out. We the seasoning. Okay. Yeah, we the seasoning. We got seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> you got some, uh, you know, the salt of the earth. And you know, the brothers love some some salt and some season, that's seasoned why we, salt. That's why no high blood pressure. Is yeah, high blood pressure. pressure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, I mean, if you lost your flavor, that's right. <laughs> where flavor? shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Is there anywhere around that it tells you where... Because see, the thing I want to avoid is sometimes you go to church and people like to take one scripture and they paste it on the wall and they don't put it in context and put it on the whole chapter. Well, we all so, about context. Okay, yeah. well, can I see that Bible? The context means uh, with text. Yeah, can I see what you had? Like with Matthew, Matthew chapter... Uh, Matthew, five? Matt, well, I was just reading Matthew 5. Okay. So I, what I want to do is I want to check around that scripture because maybe, well first I want to go back to where you were saying that, uh, what was it, as many as uh, are the 
shit with God. That's Romans 8 and 14. So Romans 8 and 14. Oh, that, that my Bible's messed up. My Romans 8 is missing. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. You right. just look like the kind of thing you use. You've been using it. That ain't bad. Yeah, I got to get, get a new Bible. Yeah, okay. Here, I'll get it for you. And then, well, while you're looking for that, I'll go back to the Matthew chapter 5. Let's see what that's all about. Like, read that Romans 8 4. There's more to that after that, too. Because it keeps going. Yeah, read that. Uh, Romans 8 and 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God. So we love by the Spirit. We ain't following after the flesh. Keep going. They are the sons of God. And the sons of God is Israel. Keep going. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, above Father. Keep going. The Spirit itself bear, bear witness. It is the Spirit itself bears witness. So that's the, that's the Holy Spirit. So we know who who is who by the Spirit. And we know that the Lord is the truth through the Spirit. So you say the Lord is the truth through the Spirit. And when you got the well, Spirit. Well, all, all knowledge is given through the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit. And when you got the Spirit, you cry out, Abba, Father, to God. Because he's your Father. Right. Keep going. Keep, read that again. Romans 8 and 16, yeah. the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. With our spirit, that means when you get around your brothers, you can tell who your brother is or not just by the spirit. Just by, because everybody has a spiritual vibration they put off. You know, so each person has their own vibration. If some people got an evil, they put off an evil vibration. Like some people, you can just, when they walk up, you can just tell they evil. You just get an evil feeling. You're like, this is no damn good. I gotta get away from this guy. You just get, you know what I mean? That, that's how the Holy Spirit works. Keep going. And then don't, when you, when you finish, don't close that up. I want to I wanna switch. Go ahead. I switch it after. Read 15. Oh, okay. oh no. You're Romans 8 and 16. Yeah, 17. Oh, whatever you got. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. We are the children of God, and the children of God is Israel. Keep going. Not the Gentiles. And if children, then hired, hires of God, and joint hires with Christ. Joint heirs, yeah. If so be that we suffer with him. Yeah, because Israel, the Lord said he created the earth for our, our sakes. Gotcha. He created the whole earth for us. Now, here in this chapter five, where it says, ye are the salt of the earth, when we're talking about the flavor. Then it says, but if the salt have lost its savor, where it shall be salted? It is henceforth pure for nothing, but to be cast out, because the real flavor in those the scriptures. This is the real flavor in the salt. Is the, is the word that means you got flavor. Because really, even though our people got, they got flavor and wickedness. Okay. It says here. Once you lose when, uh, you go off this, off this you, you got no flavor. It says here. <laughs> like if I back up a little bit. Yeah. It gives a description to what this salt in the earth is. In the same chapter. It says, Jesus, it says, he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So it's giving you that's a, the that's one spirit. description of That's a description. Song. Who's poor in spirit? Blessed are they that mourn, for that's, they shall be comforted. So who you see out here mourning? Blessed are they that... All these rich, hold on, hold on. All, all these rich white people uh, they are living up in the uh, suburbs, up in Dublin, up in... Uh, yeah. Up in German Village, Bexley. up in Bexley, but they ain't Delaware. They ain't, they ain't crying and sighing. Blessed are they which hunger and thirst after righteousness. Blessed are they which are the peacemakers. Blessed are you to shall so be found here. So here it says that those are the qualifications for being the salt. Not so much flavor no, and swagger. That, that is flavor, not and, so swagger. Much flavor yeah. and swagger. That is flavor and swagger. It's being having a humble and a meek spirit. And mourning for God. We know this. Uh, you know you're going to be persecuted for righteousness sake. We know this, man. And I noticed that earlier you said you don't look on the outward side of things. But all this stuff here is kind of a spiritual. You know, a spiritual thing has to do with the inner man. Swagger right, has, to do, has to do with the projection, I mean, an outward projection. This kind of world. Swagger is of the world. No, man. Oh, you don't understand. He, he, he talking, no, we ain't, we ain't talking. And I'll, I'll read the Romans thing now. Okay, you, 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 yeah, you ain't really making no sense. Because Israel has swagger, okay? Because if you don't understand what that means, I can't help you. Because we, we know Israel. Because when we go back to that Jeremiah, I'm going to show you something. 
Because the Lord only came for Israel. Let me read this real quick. This is 1 Corinthians 2. I'm going to read this again. Uh -huh. 2 and, uh, this is a 2 and 10. But the Most High hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit. By His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of the Most High. That's how, yeah, we search all things. That's how we 